Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control, and today I want to talk about bed bugs. It's not your typical bed bug video. I'm going to say this now, it's going to be, uh, you're moving, right? You're moving, right? You don't want to take bed bugs with you, right? You have to throw away all your furniture, correct? You have to throw away your beds and your sofas and your love seats, right? Wrong. You don't have to do that. You won't take bed bugs with you if you listen to this video and watch this video and be, pay attention all the way to the end. I'm going to talk about different things you can do to try to uh, save your furniture. Uh, hopefully this video will be informative to you. Hopefully it will help you with the stress of moving with a bed bug infestation. So if you really like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you, uh, if you like the channel and you like to see more content like this, be sure to follow me, subscribe to my, uh, my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so that you're reminded uh, when my stuff goes live, which this is being filmed on a Thursday, and tonight I actually have a live stream. So what I do on Thursday nights is I, I uh, will turn my camera on and I'll sit at my desk and I will research things for you. I will answer your questions live, and I usually spend about an hour to, to two hours, usually an hour to an hour and a half, two hours, and I will actually just sit there, take time out of my evening, and uh, sit down with you, my audience, my YouTube family, and we'll discuss bed bugs, cockroaches, silverfish, rats, mice, you name it. If it has to do with pest control, we talk about it on Thursday nights. So tune in then. It's usually after I put my children to bed. It, I know it's not a specific time frame, but usually after 9.30 uh, at night on Eastern time, because I live in Virginia. So if you want to tune in, do that, answer, ask any questions that you want. I'm uh, always open for you know pretty much anything, pest control. Uh, you can even ask me personal questions if you want. I do that, answer those too. So let's get back to the video, because this is what you're really watching this video for. So you're leaving your apartment and you don't want to take bed bugs with you. You have a bed bug infestation. They're, uh, you know, they've been hell to deal with. They're driving you crazy and you just want to get out of your current living situation because maybe your landlord isn't helping you get rid of your problem. Uh, maybe it's family and you really can't control the situation at all and you're not able to get rid of the bed bugs in your current situation and so you've decided that it's just up time to move, get your stuff, and get out. Uh, one of the things that people ask me a lot is, do I have to throw away my bed? Do I have to throw away my sofa? Do I have to throw away all of my furniture that I'm worried bed bugs might be living in? Or am I gonna take this horrible nightmare with me no matter where I am, no matter where I go for the rest of my life? Am I gonna have to deal with bed bugs forever? And the truth is, is no, you don't. Um, back in the day, maybe 20 years ago, when I first started doing bed bug work, maybe that was the answer. Um, because the chemicals were honestly archaic. The, the pesticides nowadays are way more, you get way more success eliminating your bed bug problem. You're not having to go to these extreme measures of throwing away all your furniture and your clothing and all the things that people you'll see sitting out on the curb when there's a bed bug you know infestation in an apartment you can actually treat those those articles you can treat your bed you can treat your mattress even you can treat your box spring you can treat your uh, bed rails headboard footboard um, you can treat everything anywhere bed bugs may be living and you can even treat your car so and I and I recommend that so you're going to move, you're moving, and you, you've got bed bugs. They're living on your box spring. They're living on your mattress. Um, so what I recommend you do is, uh, and all the, all the products that I use, I have an Amazon page, and I list all of my products there on that Amazon page. It's got um, things for bed bugs. It's got stuff for spiders. It's got stuff for cockroaches. It's got stuff for basically any type of bug that you could imagine. And if there isn't anything listed there that you need for your specific bug problem, let me know in the comments below because I absolutely will put it up there. I just, 
I put it up when I think about it or when I get questions. I even have things on there for lice. And now pest control really doesn't control lice. We don't, you know, as far as a profession, that's really something you usually have to go to a doctor for. But as far as do-it-yourself lice control, I even have a page on Amazon for lice. So really anything in the pest control field, I will list there for you to go and look at. And that way you can price compare and get the best price that you can possibly get for the products that you need to get rid of your bug problems. So like I said, that's going to be listed below and we're going to talk about Crossfire. So if you've been watching my channel for, you know, any more than a year or two, you know that I use Crossfire to kill bed bugs. And the reason I use Crossfire for bed bugs is because Crossfire is labeled to be used on your mattress. Not every chemical is labeled to be used on your mattress. For example, Alpine WSG, which is another chemical that I recommend for lots of other types of pests like roaches and ants and stuff like that is also labeled for bed bugs but it specifically states on the label of alpine wsg you can treat box springs you can treat your bed frames and stuff you can treat uh in even inside your couch you can treat but you cannot spray the mattress you're not allowed to spray the mattress it says right on the label do not treat the mattress but Crossfire says do. They said you need to. It's actually part of the directions on how to get rid of bed bugs. It says right on the label, treat your mattress. Treat your box springs. Pay close attention to the seams around the mattress and the box springs. Uh, treat your bed rails, headboard, footboard. Treat the cracks and crevices throughout the entire house. Treat your baseboards. Treat around, you know, don't treat any electrical or anything like that because you're not supposed to put a liquid in an electric socket or anything, but you need to treat everywhere else that you possibly can think of for cracks and crevices. But the thing is, you're leaving. So you're leaving your apartment. So where, what do you do? So what I recommend is if you're going to be using a U-Haul or you're going to be using a moving truck or even a pickup truck, you want to treat the bed of your pickup truck. You want to you want to get in the back of the U-Haul and you want to treat the U-Haul. And I know you're going to take the U-Haul back. You're not going to keep the U-Haul forever, but you need to treat it because what happens is and 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 this is this is just a tip for people that are moving. They may not have bed bugs. Maybe you don't have bed bugs. But someone was in that U-Haul before you. Someone moved their furniture before you did. So you should actually treat your U-Haul before you move any furniture using one because you don't know what type of bugs are actually in the back of the U-Haul that someone else may have dropped off there. So keep that in mind too if you're ever thinking of moving that you might want to just plan on treating your U-Haul. So you've treated the U-Haul, you've treated the trunk of your car, you treated maybe even your pickup truck bed because you're, you know, you're gonna move things. That's what I recommend. That's the number one thing I recommend. But what else do you do? So that's not all you can do. That's not a, that's not everything. So the next step you want to do is you want to get the keys to your new location. And before you go and move in, before you move anything in at all, you want to treat your new property. You want to go through all the bedrooms, uh, the kitchen the bathrooms, you wanna go in every room, every closet, everywhere in the house because once you put your stuff in there, this is gonna be really difficult to do. You're not gonna be able to do this but once. So you treat all your baseboards and you treat around all of your different rooms in the house, all the cracks, all the crevices, treat around your window frames, treat every little nook and cranny that you can possibly think of. If there's a crack between two joints of wood, treat in it because if you don't, bed bugs might harbor there. So what this is going to do is when you bring your furniture into the house, if there are any bed bugs left on your furniture that you actually have transported with you, when they crawl off of the furniture to try to find a new place to live inside your apartment, they don't have anywhere to go. If they do try to, they will die because bed bugs are naturally they are naturally attracted to the cracks and the crevices around your apartments and in and around your door frames and your window sills and places like that. They're naturally attracted to those places and behind your baseboards, the cracks that, that are uh, formed there. And so, uh, and along with cockroaches, cockroaches are the same way. So what I would recommend for a cockroach infestation, if you accidentally brought some in like a, uh, I don't know, a toaster oven or a microwave or, or maybe even a, a Xbox or a, you know, a PlayStation or something like that, 
then you want to treat the area where those devices are going to be sitting because you, you know that the bugs are going to eventually crawl out to try to find something to eat. They can't eat just, you know, the PlayStation or the Xbox or whatever. So you treat those areas around those spots where you sit those devices. And then when the roaches crawl out and they try to squeeze into a crack or something, they die too. So this is something you can keep in mind. Maybe you don't have bed bugs. Maybe you just have roaches and you're worried you're going to have to throw everything away because you're, you're moving out of your apartment. This also is the same exact technique that I use for German cockroaches. In fact, when I find out that one of my customers is moving and they're moving locally and they're going to keep their pest control service, then I will actually go and help them by treating their new property. I treat their automobiles. I treat everything that they could possibly uh, that's going to come into contact with their things. And then I do a very thorough treatment. And this is step three. You need to do a very thorough bed bug treatment of your existing apartment, mainly the possessions that you have that could or maybe even do now have bed bugs living in them. For example, you, you take all of your sheets, all your covers, comforters, uh, if you have total mattress encasements, take them off, throw them away, never use them again, they're crap. But uh, spray your bed, treat your bed, treat around all of the seams of the mattress and the box springs. Open your box spring up on the bottom. Take that felt off. That thing's worthless anyway. It doesn't do anything but keep cats from crawling up underneath your bed. But take that piece of felt off the bottom and treat all up inside your box spring, not just around the outside. Treat inside it too because bed bugs will harbor inside your box springs. Uh, flip your couches upside down. Open, if you've got those little Velcro flaps behind like a recliner chair or something, you need to pull that up, flip that up behind the couch. Treat inside your chairs, your recliners. Treat inside your couch. Treat all around the staples where that little piece of uh, you know, felt cloth was, was stapled to the bottom of the couch and the bottom of the box spring. Treat all that area really, really, really thoroughly and uh, allow it to dry before you move it, of course. And then uh, the day you're gonna move, you wanna, or the day before, actually, if you get your U-Haul the day before you move, treat your U-Haul the day before you move, treat your car the day before you move, and that way all that stuff that you're gonna end up transporting stuff in has been treated the day you actually transport your things. Because you don't wanna treat your car the day you're gonna get in it and drive around. You wanna give it some time to dry. So the label of Crossfire says that you really shouldn't be in the property while the pesticide is drying, so you should allow it to dry before you, uh, before you enter the, the area where it's been applied. So like in your automobile, uh, you really shouldn't re-enter your automobile until it's dry. Um, it usually doesn't take very long in a car. The only places you really want to treat are where your, your seats kind of clamshell together, uh, especially like if you've got a bench seat, like I've got a bench seat in the back of my car. And so uh, where that will fold in on itself, I actually treat those cracks all up inside uh, there, down around the seat belt, uh, where the seat belts go in through the bottom of the chair, and I uh, treat the running boards, and that's really pretty much it. Now in your trunk, you wanna treat all around the edges of your trunk, anywhere the door may latch shut, you wanna get all around that area. Uh, I wouldn't treat anywhere where the, you know, the paint or anything like that, like the actual paint of the car, because I don't know if the stuff will mess with the paint or not. So I usually stay away from painted surfaces, but I do treat around where the carpet kind of comes up and is glued to the inside of the trunk. I treat all that really well and then allow it to dry. Usually give it, a, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, even an hour sometimes it takes for it to dry, depending on how wet you get it. But you make sure it's all dry before you put your stuff in it. And then uh, same with truck beds. Well, with a with a um, with a U-Haul, the way you want to treat the back of a U-Haul is when you go in every uh, so so it's basically a big box. You know, you're going to load all your stuff into this big box, and you're going to haul that box off to your apartment, and then you're going to load the stuff again. So everywhere the box comes together on all the corners, you want to treat those whole sides. So the the roof of the truck where the roof actually connects to the walls of the truck, that crack all along, you treat that. You treat the crack where the floor of the truck meets to the wall, you treat that like where a normal baseboard would be if you were living in an apartment. Uh, that area gets treated all the way around, all four sides, because it's a cube, so it's got all four sides. It's got all those different cracks and stuff. The up and down, so if you get a truck that's got the cab where it's got the, the, the little dome that goes over the cab where you can kind of put stuff up in there too. Treat in there really well. Uh, just make sure you get all the cracks. 
treat around those rails that they have inside the U-Haul. So a U-Haul usually has rails that you can tie, use tie downs on to keep your mattresses and stuff from flopping over and your dressers from shifting in the truck. Uh, treat around those really, really well because that mattresses are usually leaned up against those and they're actually tied to those. And I have found bed bugs living around those. So you wanna make sure you treat around those rails really, really well because the bed bugs absolutely will get on them and then they will go with you when you take your beds out of the truck. Also, the screws, so those are, they're screwed to the side of the truck with little bolts. You wanna treat around those bolt heads and stuff inside the truck too. And I know you're, you, it's, it sounds like I'm being a little uh, obsessive compulsive, but really, <clears throat> I know it's not your truck, but it is your money and it is your move and you do not want to take bed bugs with you. And I'm not telling you anything that's going to actually harm the truck in any way. It's not going to stain it. It's not going to hurt it. And uh, it's only going to help you and anyone else that uses the truck, honestly, for a month because Crossfire lasts for 30 days. So it'll... Uh, It'll kill bugs in your house. It'll kill bugs on your furniture. It will, it will eliminate them for up to 30 days. The reason you want a residual chemical <clears throat> that lasts 30 days is because uh, bed bugs from the time the egg is laid until it hatches and you actually get bit the first time can take up to three weeks. So you wanna make sure that you treat with something that's got a longer than three week residual, which is why I tell people not to use Temperate and Phantom and other types of pesticides that break down quicker than Crossfire. So hopefully this video has been uh, informative to you. Uh, if you do take bed bugs with you in your new location, as long as you have followed these steps and you make sure that you do a pre-treat, treat the apartment before you move in it, Treat your automobiles before you use them. Treat your U-Haul before you use it. And treat your furniture. Treat all your furniture. Treat everything that you're gonna use. Usually this is a time that you're gonna take the drawers and stuff <clears throat> out of your chest of drawers. Remove the drawers out of your chest of drawers. Treat inside all the cracks and crevices inside your chest of drawers and your dressers and your nightstands and stuff too. Uh, usually this is the easiest time to treat because most people do take their drawers and stuff out of their chest of drawers when they're moving their furniture because it makes it easier, not as heavy. So uh, this would be a time that I would actually recommend that you treat those, those uh, items. So hopefully this will help you. I'm, I'm, I mean, this works all the time. This is what I always advise people to do. And I've helped, uh, honestly, if I have helped you and you have been able to get rid of your bed bugs because of my channel, comment below. Let people know that they're not alone in this battle. It does help a lot. Um, I have a lot of people that contact me and just, just are at their wits end and they just believe they'll be stuck with these things forever. So, uh, in fact, a lot of the comments I get, and some of them you guys don't see because the hostile, rude, you know, awful comments that I get sometimes you guys never see it because I don't allow those to be on my channel. I try to be professional. I try to have a professional place here where you guys can come and converse uh, civilly. But when people, you know, jump all over others and they're uh, insulting me and they're insulting my audience, I usually uh, cut those out. You guys never see those comments. But I understand that they're upset and they're aggravated and they've been dealing with this problem for a really long time. And so, uh, you guys, if, if any of y'all have tried my uh, advice, taken my advice, and gotten rid of your bed bugs and your cockroaches and stuff, be sure to leave a comment below because there are people in the same boat as you and they can't do it or they feel like they can't do it and they need to be reassured that they can do it. So you guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. If you like my advice and you like stuff like this and you enjoy my channel, then Click the notification bell when you subscribe to me so that you can get notified when I'm live and when I'm doing videos like this. So y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it. And treat your stuff. Kill your bed bugs. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thanks.